Well, here's my beach gold I got out of that uh, 15 gallons of black sand. So this is the actual gold that came out of those black sands. So pretty good. I get you. I bet you I almost got a gram of gold. Uh, here I got about, I don't know, a little vial. It's about half full. It's got a little dirt in there. Um, it is uh, gold from up in Alberta. Um, it's all about, you know, 100 mesh down. And I'm going to add that to it too just to make it fun so that we have um, uh, you know some more gold yeah fun stuff looks like it all came out of there yep so there's that so basically here I got about probably you know, easily two grams of gold, uh, a little bit more, a half a vial. I don't know, maybe that was a gram and a half. Yeah, it's pretty light stuff, you know. So here I got this gold, and I am going to go put it in some dirt. So I'm going to mix my wonderful gold with all this material here. And, you know, I'm a just kind of sprinkle it around, you know, don't got no soap in the water, uh, just make me cry that I've had to separate all this gold before. Now I gotta just mix it all up again and I'm gonna use this for some test material. So here I am again with my beach go my beach sands and gonna mix in my gold again. Here's our gold from the second time we ran this, the recovery rate, you know, looking at the 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 vial. And you know basically that gold and this was that last little snapshot I took of the stuff we caught on the, the you know the other run I'm really gonna mix that all in there I know I got twice as much gold in there I mean that much gold still in there actually gonna mix all that up Get it all good and mixed up in the, the beach stands and do my recovery. But this time, I'm going to compare the speed maker. See how it does for recovering gold and its rate compared to the cube. Three stack, you know, and or I got three dream hats in it too, but we caught 50% of the gold. So we're going to run this through that high banker. I'm going to pop it all out here in the tarp again. And I'm, after I, you know, I'll be mixing it up while I scoop it out with the shovel. And I'm, uh, we're going to run that sucker. And we're going to see what we're going to get just out of one run of a speed banker. In like, man, you know, less, less than 10, like 7 minutes, 5, 7 minutes of running compared to all that it took to run this through a uh, cube stack. And you guys know, you've been out there, your beach guys with cubes and you would know what it took to take you through a six banker, you know, this material through it and, and then the recovery. And let's do the comparison. Let's figure out, you know, who's working harder and who's working smarter. And we'll see. Okay, here I am ready to go. Got the speed banker set up, got my tub full of water, got my pile of black sand. And I'm gonna shovel this in here. And we're gonna see what the capture rate of all the gold in the black sand is through the speed banker once compared to, well, of course, the six stack cube, which we tested twice and pulled the same amount, which was 50%. All right, let me go fire up the pump. Gonna let this thing happen. All right. 
that up. Didn't even level it up. Let's do that. So, all right, still pretty good. Probably about 2,000. But the two inch pump is sucking on a inch and a half line, about half throttle. A little bit more than half throttle, about two thirds throttle. And we're going to feed this pig, see what she does.
are beautiful. I'm gonna have to go get my magnifying glass, but we got some gold on the map, and my phone sucks. Okay, let's take a look at the gold on the map. So, here we are seeing a bunch of gold, hit the wrong button, after running it. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see what this capture rate is. All this fine gold that we're seeing. It's going to be fun. Cool beans. Of course, I'm gonna shovel the rest of that in there, and I got a little bit of crap that came out of the tub right at the end. And I'm gonna rinse this off and then turn on the pump for a few seconds and then be done. Super duper. All right, then we'll clean up that mat and then we're gonna see what it does compared to uh, the other system. Nothing but fun. There, I dumped the last of that crap on the mat and then the bucket. That was on the edge of the shovels and stuff a little bit and dumped it in there, rinsed it out with some cups of water. And it is, even though it kind of uh, exposed a lot more gold on the mat, just rinsing water over the top of the mat. And you can see that these cells underneath these black sands, as I put these cups of water through here, you know, it really shows what's underneath those black sands when those cells are processing. You know, it gives a really good idea of what's going on. You know, just some good stuff. You know, and I think we're gonna have a good show uh, on the cleanup. And I think it's gonna be fun. You know, good stuff. Cool beans. Well, there's the first scoop of cons coming out of that um, uh, high baker with the beach sands mat in it. And I can tell you right now because I've done a lot of these cleanups with the cube and with the conveyor mat and dream mat and my prototype mats I was testing all the stuff. I'm saying I think we may have a winner here. So you know, a good combination, good speed, good feed, and good capture rate. And I'm not going to sit here and blow smoke up anybody's butt and say it's catching it all. But it'd be really cool if you could catch a large percentage of the gold first pass at a high feed rate. And I think we're going to see it. So we'll do a comparison. We'll talk tit for tat. And we'll let you guys decide. Just goofing off with the pan as the material settles out you know guys now I know why all the mines won't tell me how good their the math's been working except for it's awesome uh, we'll show you some pictures later hmm halfway through and I'm easily gonna beat the first stack on the cube so here we are I got this cons that still need to go on the shaker or the miller table, and this is through the, the speed baker at sluice speed, and I'm easily gonna beat the uh, like a first tray of the cube just by itself. It's both that it catches that we um uh, run through a sluice. I mean, through a cube stack system at 1100 GPM, feeding it really slow compared to I was feeding it small shovel loads and running at 
twice or more the GPM. So, kind of cool. You know, I'm pretty excited. And I'm actually going to have to go through my, uh, these guys twice. Because, um, uh, I'm having such fine gold. You know, I gotta get the magnifying glass out. That, um, uh, I'm getting such fine gold that it, a lot of it's rolling off the table when I brush it. So, I, as I try to brush it up, it, it rolls off. And, um, uh, so anyways, now, you know, I'm really understanding why these mines are just like, that yeah, buy these mats are saying, buddy, you, you don't understand how awesome this is. I go, send me some pictures. And they're like, we can't. And I'm like, oh, come on. And so, you know, I, I'm kind of getting it. It's this, this mat catches fine gold at lightning speed and a lot of these mines are telling me no we don't show us the, I'm hoping to, you know it's all gonna a bit time was on my side I just gotta wait it's all gonna come out you know people are gonna start talking mines talk to mines prospectors talk to prospectors so on and it's all gonna get published it's all it's, it ain't gonna disappear it ain't gonna be no top secret thing you know and they're saying hey buddy we're getting 400 mesh and I'm like show me the magic and they're like not yet not yet buddy anyway so i'm pretty excited fun stuff there it is folks there is the deal and i know i've lost quite a bit down here every time i tried to brush even this up right here at the end it's just floating off floating off that fine gold so here it is i that is easily beats the recovery on a three stack cube to first tray you know, I'm just looking at it for my memory and looking at how it's spread out on the table. That's that's a that's a great cleanup. And we'll put it in the vial even and look at how much it's gonna be in the vial so we can see, you know, compared to the total recovery of the six sack with its fifty percent of the gold we caught both times, you know, we did it twice to confirm where this lines up and we can see how much that is. And I'm uh, also, I'm going to break this down to a, a, drop it just to a 30 mesh to get some of the crap off and rerun it again because I had so much fine gold float off and hopefully it'll go off faster and I'm, uh, and get a little bit more out of there. But anyways, there it is guys. And let's, yeah, let's look at the, the, the magnifying glass. Right. There you go. Cool beans. Alright, cheated because that was an impatient man. There's the gold from the first cube. Tray on the gold cube. And it looks great. And then there is a pile of gold. Ah, it's dirty. Sorry. I should have cleaned it off first. I'm such a preparation nut. Ha ha ha. Fine gold. Awesome. There's the first tray. Now let's go to the second one. Okay, here it is. The gold that I caught in the speed banker first pass through. Um, so this is the speed banker running the same gold and material that I ran through the six stack of the cube. And we have the results in the same vial. You know, a little video clip that you can compare. I'll actually splice the video and compare them between the two of the cube and the 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 speed banker. What they did with the gold for first pass. You know, the cube six stack took you know a long time to feed and and um uh, a long time to feed and get um uh. The, the job done and then the speed banker we just shoveled it in and almost five minutes and you know shovelfuls of just material and, and this is what it caught so this is the recovery rate compared to the other system at a lot larger flow in a lot uh greater feed rate so 
you know, I didn't expect it to beat, but it's sure in the heck um, uh, pretty impressive. So basically, if you looked at the pound for pound, what you could shovel through in a day, um, you know, pound for pound, what you could shovel through, um, you're looking at uh, an increased recovery rate because you're going to win by volume. And what you would gain in percentage in the slower rate, the rate in volume, your total gold take for the day would be larger. So it's all about going home with more gold. Simple math. There it is, guys. Remember the vial of gold that we started with? There's actually less in the vial than was in it when I dumped it out into the cube. So there's a capture rate. So I would say we still have half this amount because I had stuff in the pan that was beach gold. And then this was about another, you know, not quite half, but another, you know, not quite twice as much, but almost a third as much more in this vial of gold. So recovery rate is a neat thing. If you look at what the gold is and you just look at the facts and you think about what's going on, here's the deal. You can't change it. You can't change it. It is what it is. You know, foo-foo, marketing, all that crap, and I'm not going to buy it. So there's a lot of gold in that black sand out there still. How many times am I going to have to run it to get it out? You know, Dave's going to ponder on this, going to think about the better mouse trap, you know, and how maybe taking the mini mat, you know, one step further for beach sands. Now, we had great recovery and great tests um, for a lot of other applications besides just Oregon gold or Superior Lake Superior gold beach sands. So a lot of the tests that we did for the mini mat when we brought it out for the cube were for other applications, crushings um, and cons. And we had great, great results. And it left it a lot of restrictions that the regular conveyor belt uh, kind of fell down at. Now, here we got um, a regular conveyor belt, three stack, and you saw the beach sand, and we saw the gold that we put in it, in a three stack. Now this is a total. This is the Dream Mat stuff included. This is the total of it all. Look at where the recovery rate of a three stack cube is in regular conveyor belt. So how can we say we get 95% gold recapture rate? We know we got, out of all that gold that's in there, we know we at least got 30% to say for sure, 40% maybe be pushing it of gold in that black sand so that's the reality you know market what you want claim what you want but this is a reality the stack is what it is um and we maybe we need to think harder as far as what's the next profile going to look like that's going to capture more gold in the beach sand application or will there you know, and it's just the reality that we're going to look at. All right, guys. Cool beans.